hour with the May Day rally in Lower Manhattan. It's happening right now, and as you can see from Newscopter 7, hundreds of people are part of this rally right now and that march that started in Washington Square Park and made its way to Foley Square in Lower Manhattan. Now, this is one of many rallies held across the globe today fighting for workers' rights. Eyewitnesses reporter Anthony Carlo joining us live from Foley Square with more. Anthony. Hey, what's going on, guys? Well, this is certainly an international movement, but it's got a lot of power here in New York City. You're taking a look at those images, of course, uh, up from above of the people marching here at Foley Square. I want you to also take a live look here at just how many people have come out here to support workers' rights. I was speaking to one of the people that came out here, a gentleman who was incarcerated for decades. He's now out, and he's trying to fight for other incarcerated workers to receive unemployment compensation for for the work they do, like producing New York State license plates. And as I mentioned, hundreds of people marching from Washington Square Park to Foley Square on this May Day, demanding strong labor protections. The annual march brings together a wide spectrum of workers who say they've been marginalized. Delivery workers, sex workers, street vendors, freelancers, and even union workers, just to name a few of the groups out here today. And a big focus this year, pushing for the Secure Jobs Act to be passed. Supporters say that would legally require employers to provide two weeks notice or written explanation prior to termination. Warehouse worker Tiffany says she wasn't given a valid reason when she was fired. If I come to you, I need you to address my concerns, but not fire me. And that's why many workers are scared to talk about wage increases or even talk about like um, discrimination on their jobs because they're afraid that they would be fired. Employers can still fire for misconduct. Any legal good reason for firing your employee, you can do that. But what this prevents is unjust firings or firings without any reason at all. And Councilmember Caban there says she introduced this legislation to fight for workers' rights. Now, this is all happening right here, this rally, the same time that New York State legislators are finalizing the budget for fiscal year 2024. The people, many of them out here, you see, are also calling for a significant boost to the minimum wage and also for a permanent program to be established to give excluded workers access to unemployment benefits. We're live.